Okay, hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to our ArcMine 100 series where we are learning about architectural concepts through Minecraft. So we are in our third video of building this park, and this park really is quite a large project, isn't it? So what did I say at the end of the last video? I think we're going to put a an amphitheater here. Alright, let's just remove all these trees then and then put in something uh, relatively simple. Let's not make things too complicated for ourselves. What should we boot it out of? I feel like stone bricks this time. I was going to use the stone bricks for the for the uh, for the terrace, though. Maybe I can use it for both. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to have to remove pretty much all of these trees in order to make room for the amphitheater here. Alright, let's just go and get rid of these. I guess we can't have stone bricks for both. Well, it's a stone bricks on the elephant right there too. Maybe that's not the best idea then. Just because it's like, there's too much stone brick then. If I keep using them for a lot of different projects. Uh, what else can we use? We've got sandstone paths already. Oh, whoops. Not that it matters. Probably gonna remove that anyway. Um, the thing is, because we're making an amphitheater with seats and everything, we're probably gonna need stairs. Maybe I can use a mix of different materials, like a mix of quartz and stone bricks, maybe. Uh... I can use the fancier stone types and have the stone bricks as only the stairs. That might work. Alright, so I'm gonna get rid of all the trees. And, um, Yeah, the amphitheater really needs to have a thing behind the stage, though. How will we do this? How will we do this? You know what, let's just put in some seating. Let's just put in some kind of semicircular seating and just not make it too fancy. Just make it a relatively simple amphitheater type thing. Yeah? Yeah, alright. So nothing, nothing too fancy, but enough to look okay. So let's go with the fancy stones. But we're also probably going to need the stone brick slabs. We don't have slabs and stair versions of these stones yet. I don't, don't know why. I mean, they put in the stones, but I think it would make sense to also just put in the, the stairs and the slabs as well. Alright, so how do we do this? I think we're going to use mostly granite. Mostly granite because there's no granite so far, and it is a nice color, a nice kind of pinkish, brownish color for this stone. I guess we should mark out the semicircle, first of all. Um, probably wanted to... I guess it's more like a quarter circle, isn't it? More like a quarter circle. Let me just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-three. 22, 23, 23. 23 is not a very good number to be honest. It doesn't really divide into anything useful. 23, that's fine. 2, 3, 4, oops, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I'm going to turn that into a sort of a semicircle there, I guess. It's quite large, isn't it? Um, 
maybe not quite 23. Let's pull it back to to 20. Because I'm looking at this. Let me, let me just tell you what I'm thinking here. So as you're walking across the bridge, you're going to see the back of the seating. It'll be like a semicircular thing there, and you see the back of it. And then as you come down here, you will see the end of it. And then you see there will be a lawn here, right? Oh, that's the plan. There will be a lawn there. And then you kind of have to come around to see the, uh, the amphitheater. And then there might be like a stage there. So if it's you know if it's 23 as it was before and there's like a big wall with seating behind it, I feel like it, it blocks too much of this. Like you can't. I mean, if you imagine the seating is up here, then you can't see anything behind the seating. Whereas if you can just, just pull back three squares, which isn't much, but then that like once you get off the bridge, you can see past the seating, and you can see like the ocean beyond there. So I feel like that's a bit better. So that you don't block this view. So that was what I was thinking, kind of pulling back three squares. Um, all right, so let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then do we start? Kind of turning in. Is that not enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, hold on. What did I say? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, yep. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 3. And how does that look as a, uh, as a curve? If you want a, a proper s a circle, you might want to kind of measure out the template. Like do some proper mathematics to get this into a proper circle. So you kind of have straight and straight seating and straight seating, and then a little bit of curve there. Hmm. Probably should curve in a little bit at the ends, really. Two, three, four, five, six. Let me um. Put that there. Have it just curve in. In fact, I might just do that. Um. Odd. That's quite a bit odd. All right, let's not do that. Let's put that back there. Come back out. No, it's a bit odd. It's it's not easy making circles with squares. All right, let's do this, and then figure out how tall this is going to be. So seating. How much seating do we want? When we come into there, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we have like this sort of arrangement. And then I really need to start curving in there. This is probably yeah. This is not the best way to do like circles in Minecraft because I'm just doing this by eye, and I'm probably not doing this very well at all, to be honest. Uh, can that be the seating? Possibly, possibly that can be the seating. Ah, this would be easier if we didn't actually have circles. Okay, so let's fill this in inside here. So 
how's this gonna work? I don't actually know. So here's the here's the bottom level. Seats begin there, maybe. And then just follow this line, maybe. And that's gonna have to do that. Oh, wait a minute, that's not right. Uh, and then there. Alright, that's kind of convincing. And then we put in the next level. This might actually work out. Except there's no staircase at the moment. I need to go back and put in a staircase to actually go up to the seating areas from the ground. Probably do the staircase in sandstone. Because we already have a sandstone path, so it would make sense that the staircase is sandstone because that's what you walk on to get up to the uh, to the next level. Alright, let's fill this in with all this. You don't you won't see most of this, it's just be inside. Although I do want to do something with the back, I guess, to make it somewhat more decorative. Not sure what I would do. We'll figure that out later on. Let's just make the rough shape first. Alright, so we say that's seating. And then on the next level, like the seating will be you know, like that. And then there. And then there. And then, you know, like there. And this should be like that, kind of. How does that? That's actually kind of right. Wow. I'm uh, I'm impressing myself by actually getting this kind of right. All right. So then we go up to the next level. So there'll be like maybe two more layers of seating, or one more layer of seating, I guess. And then we have to figure out the staircase. And we might change the uh, we might change the shape at the back of this. soon. In fact, we might change... Like, this is just kind of like a, a giant wall, which is not that good, is it? Not really sure what we'll do about it, though. Alright, so now we're here. Then the next level will be like this, I guess. Pretty sure this would be better if I measured this stuff out properly. Then right at the top, like that. Wow, this actually turned out rather well. The stuff back here, we might prune a little bit, for example, that probably needs to have go there, that can go there, that can go there. Is that right? Hold on, let me finish this off.
How does that look? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 2, and then 2, and then 1, 1, and 1. Alright, that's still symmetrical. And there's your amphitheater. It's kind of, um, it's not that great at the moment. Let me just, uh, figure out how to staircase this. Sandstone stairs and sandstone slab. So we want the sandstone to, um, And I guess sandstone blocks, I guess, as well. Sandstone blocks. I guess we wanted to. How do we do that? That's probably makes more sense. Like that, that, that makes more sense. Alright. I don't want to use the sandstone stairs because if I put the sandstone stairs there, then it looks like the same shape as the seats. So the stairs look like the seat, and then people might get confused and stand on the seats or something. I don't know what goes on above here, though. But I guess we can continue that up to there. Standing room at the top, is that a bit strange? Probably is. Alright, let's make this staircase down here. Then a staircase like that, and like that, and like that. What we might want to do is continue to put a to put a back at the top here, so that oh wait, uh, maybe I need to put this back yeah. Because I want, uh, all right. Let me just put some of these blocks back so I can have, you know, at least one block at the top all the way around, right? So I need that, 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 and that, and that, and that. All right. So I do need this back. I think I removed it before. So then we have it back at the top as well. That's not too bad. That's actually pretty good. It's fairly good. A pretty simple amphitheater. And then what happens? And then I think down here we're gonna have to. Hmm. Uh. Diorite and the site. Let's use the white now. All right, let's come over here and fill in this bit like that. So this is like the stage, right? Or at least this is where the uh, the stage kind of is. You don't want to flatten this out there. And then here we're gonna have one, two. Can we have like a bit of sandstone? Uh, no, not like that, like that. And then that is that correct? That's correct, I think. All right, so then. Stage is like in here. I might even raise it up by a block or something. Maybe that's too much. Should the stage be on ground level or should I raise it up one block? I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just kind of trying things out as I go. I didn't really have a, a clear plan when I started the amphitheater. I mean, I've, I had a rough shape in my head. I'm just kind of figuring this out as I go. 
pretty sure you can tell. Um, all right, so this this then is sandstone. Yeah, there's sandstone in front here. So we're using the different colors to, you know, mark out where the uh, the stage is and so on and so forth. Alright, so how do we feel about that? Probably too big. The stage is probably bigger than it needs to be. Although... That's fine. It's probably fine. Now let us, let's shift this back. Let's shift this back. The stage is a little bit bigger than it needs to be, I feel like. Alright, how does that feel? Alright, that's good. That's a good proportion. So it looks like that, and we need something behind the stage, I think. So that, you know, you have a little bit of backdrop, but not too much, because what happens is that if you're sitting up here, you know, you have people on the stage, but you can still see behind like the, the view is still part of the scenery, kind of. It's a little strange. It's a little strange. Let me just close it up a little bit more. Alright, so there we go. There's an empty theater. Hmm. Do I want to raise the stage? Do I? I'm just going to try it out. I don't think I actually want to do this, but I want to try this out, see what happens. Like here, I would rather use a slab because it's one block is too tall and then no block is too flat. I wish I had a slab here so that I can raise it by one block. Maybe I do have a slab. I'll just use the stone brick slab. I want the stage to be raised, but not quite that much. And, um, hmm. what if we do that? What if we do that? Okay, let, let's, let's leave it like that, I think. So, what else can we do? I mean, this is, this here is okay. Back here, it's not quite okay because it's not very good looking, is it? What do we do about this part? Not too sure what to do about this. We can just carve into it, of course, because it's actually... Um, what we might do is just plant trees back here and just hide this thing behind a bunch of trees. That's probably actually the most sensible thing to do is to, is to plant trees behind here. Maybe have some columns up here for decorative purposes. What if we go Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three. I don't know what happens here, hold on. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, three-ish. One, two, three-ish. Hmm, that's a little too close. No, that, that should be it. That should be it. We'll put some columns up here for purely decorative purposes. Hmm. 
How would that look? It's a bit too big though, isn't it, at the top there? Maybe it's fine. Maybe that's perfectly fine. And the other question is, do I extend the columns down to the ground? Maybe I do. It's also a little bit strange when we uh, get to the curved bits because we're trying to put square columns around a curving shape in Minecraft where there are no actual curves. So that's a bit awkward. Is that? So no, that's a bit strange. That is a, that's a, a lot strange. That's a lot strange. I don't know about this. Let me finish it off and then check again and see how I feel. Uh. Maybe the columns are too close? Maybe the capitals are too big? Or maybe it's just fine. I, mean, I don't know. I, th I think the capital is actually too big. I think the capitals are actually too big. Get rid of those. Try something else. Let's try chiseled quartz. There's not enough space here for stuff like this, I don't think. Let's try just that. So we're following the shape below. Like so. Oh, that's probably better. That's better. How do we f how do we feel about this? It's okay. It's okay. It's a little bit odd. It's okay. Maybe I want to overhang just slightly at the end there. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Let's let's do that. I still want to plant trees in front because this is very very odd right now. I will leave the trees until later. So we have an amphitheater now, located there. I suppose I should join up this bit with the path down here. Let's go for sandstone. And the sandstone, I guess, will just... Go straight across here. Like this. Right, and then the plan was to have a lawn back here, wasn't it? Which means that maybe there can be a tree here. Actually, let me just plant trees now because let me just start doing this soon. What kind of trees do we want? I think we just want oaks. The other trees are maybe spruces and oaks. I mean, I mean birches and oaks, not the spruce, not the jungle tree. The other trees are a bit strange. Let's go for birch, oak, and. Uh, if you put bone meal on plants, they will grow quickly. So let me just put an oak sapling there. Ah, that's, come on. Give me a taller tree, please. Ah, let me try again. We need a taller tree than that one. Are you serious? 
that's the best tree you can get. Uh, is this okay? I don't know, is this, this tree is too short. No, 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 come on, come on. I wanna see under this thing. Let me just, you know, put that there and then put a sapling on top of a block. And then, and then we'll tree. Oh, now it's a tall tree. Oh, thanks. Thanks, game. Thanks, Minecraft. Alright, so now there's a tall tree there. Good job. So we want to be able to see through here towards the lawn. Get rid of this tree. And get rid of the tall grass. And then I'm not sure... Not sure what to do about the lawn except just to have a large piece of grass here. Although it does go down one block. Might have to manage this. Right, let's get rid of all this all the plants here. We like flowers, but maybe not here. I also think the lawn needs a bit of lighting. Alright, so what's going on here? Um, Alright, let's chop down a few more of these trees. This needs to be more open here. And then get rid of those. And then we can let those trees let those leaves disappear. I think I want to flatten this, so kind of put dirt all over this area here. Let me just um, figure out a line. So I want to put the dirt almost up to the water. Kind of in there. Like that, and then have this all the way out of the edge. Because I want a flat lawn. I want this lawn to... to be pretty much flat. So we're going to extend this out. Like that, and then fill all of this in with grass. I mean, it seems like a fairly subtle difference, right? I'm just raising this bit by one block. But that's, what, that's how I want it. I want this to be flat here. Completely flat. So you know, if you want to play soccer, or you want to run around, fly a kite, then it's just a flat lawn for you to do stuff in an open area. Which is kind of the point. So you know, if you're playing soccer, the ball doesn't roll by itself down the hill or something. You actually have to kick it. So that's the importance of having a, a flat lawn. No tall grass, no flowers, no trees, just grass. And then maybe some lighting on the perimeter. And a pig doing a dance. I'm going to have to figure out the lighting eventually, I haven't done any of that for some time. Alright, so now we have like a big flat grass area here, which is good, that's what I want. Um, yep, yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, so like there's like a natural backdrop behind the stage, that's kind of cool. Not sure what happens here, probably trees at the edge. 
no trees back here, but then that's a little odd. Maybe some lighting. How will we light this space? How will we light? I guess I should just put glowstone at the top. Let me come back here. Glowstone. I think what I should do is... Glowstone at the top, and I actually want that to be sandstone. And then I guess glowstone in the middle. And then I guess glowstone in between. Alright, well that's that's the lighting for the amphitheater, although it's not much, is it? Would it be too distracting if I put glowstone on the stage? It would be, right? What if I put glowstone like there? So there's not too much lighting on the amphitheater, but if we go time set... Oh, come on. Time set night. That's that's enough. That's enough lighting. I mean, there's no lighting in the actual amphitheater itself. That's enough lighting, I think. That's, that's pretty good. Nice and atmospheric. So let's go back to... Day. All right, so there's the amphitheater and lawn. We need to plant a lot of trees there and flowers. And then we're going to come over here with our stone bricks, maybe a bit of cobble. And where's my other stone bricks? Stone bricks, stone bricks, and cobble, and cobble. We are going to build a terrace here. We're going to get rid of this tree. And we're going to get rid of this tree. And we're going to get rid of this tree as well. And then we're going to figure out where to put the terrace. Probably just a rectangular platform out here. Alright. Up to there. Seems reasonable. But is it? Is it reasonable? Maybe not. Maybe I want to put it... Put that back. Uh, I want to put it... There. And then across to... How far across do I want it? Maybe not quite that far. I kind of want it to line up with the with the avenue there, basically. So that's on that side. And that's one more block this way, alright. And then, I'm gonna come out... Come out to... Is that a bit much? Let's see. Then out to there. Where are we? Just a little bit above the water. And then there. This is literally going to be a giant block of stone, I think. Is that good? I'm not even sure if that's good. I think I'll actually lower this by one block. Let me just change my mind. Lower this by one block. Yeah, I don't know if this is good or not. It's just a massive block of stone. So it's going to be a terrace, so it's just basically going to be a giant platform. Usually this sort of thing would be cut into a, a hill or something, which makes more sense. Well, I mean, if it needs to be cut into a hill to make more sense, then it shouldn't be this tall, should it? It should be like... But the view is... how? The view is... I guess the view is okay. Then. Okay, let me change my mind again. I'm going to change my mind again, and lower the terrace. 
down to here. Right. Good. It's a bit strange having a massive block of stone that tall. So let me lower this. Uh, where did it go? Oops. It went all the way up to here, right? And then we want it to be like... Maybe this tree needs to go. Alright, let's lower it a little bit. Hopefully this makes it a little bit more sensible. this little corner here, come out here, and then across there, hmm. and then this goes into the water I guess, it goes very deep into the water. So it's still going to be a pretty significant terrace from this angle. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I'm not even sure if this is a good idea. Let me just fill this in. And then, uh, Pig, you are in the way. Fill this in. And then uh, this out here. Massive brick thing. Hmm. How do I feel about this? I'm not sure. Let me turn that into stone brick. Can probably um. All right, let me fill this in with cobble on the inside. Completely fill this in. And then probably going to change the outside a little bit, because the, the flat stone is a little bit too flat, I think. And the view at the moment is not great, but, but we might improve it later on as we build more in the city. But I mean, you know, in the, we have a park here next to the city. And it would be a little bit strange if there's no point in the park where you ever look back towards the city, right? So that's what this is about. Uh, do I need... I need that to also be stone brick. And then more cobble. Too interesting, I'm afraid. It's literally just a giant block of stone. Alright, then we're gonna turn all that into cobble, and this, we don't want any dirt in here. Make this cobble. Might use some mossy cobblestone. Let me come over here and just pick up the moss stone a little bit. This might be better if it's just moss stone. Ooh. Maybe I... 
All right, we're gonna strategically put in the moss stone probably around the edge. Yes. All right. So let me do that. Just a hint of color. It's, otherwise, it's a little bit too gray, I think. But just a hint of moss. Sounds like a plan to me. Uh, how do we get up here? I think the sensible thing to do is to... Come across here. And... And there, and... Like that. And sandstone. And sandstone slabs. Slab that. I. And then brick that. And then the sandstone this. Oops. Sandstone there, that sounds good to me. Uh, I want to cut back this hill just a little bit more. Can't see anything again. And then we're going to go decoration blocks, mossy, with my... Oh, it's a different thing, isn't it? So the fences are here, but the stone fences are actually on the other, on this one for some reason. Mossy cobblestone wall. Let's put some mossy cobblestone walls around here. It's quite mossy. There's a lot of a lot of moss on that. And then we're gonna put some. Moss stone around the edge here, so it's like the parts that people don't usually walk on have become mossy. But actually, not the end there because people would kind of come over here and look at the view. So the moss is actually back here at the back where there's nothing interesting, right? So some of the terrace has gotten a little bit mossy. Maybe the corner here. There's a tree back there, so this is this corner is not that interesting. So moss is growing, and then um, maybe this corner is not that interesting either. All right, so we have that. Maybe this is not that interesting here or here. And then uh, we kind of need lights. What I think we can do is just put torches at the corners. And not much more. So, time set night. Yeah, that's enough. Time set day. Now, down here, what I think I'll do is actually well, wait a minute. Let me stone brick that. Let's put a little pattern in here. Except the pattern doesn't really... Oh, there we go. Put a little pattern in there, so it's slightly more interesting than before. And even have moss stone inside of this little pattern. Maybe torches. 
and do we want the same thing back here? I think we do. One, two, three. More stone in the side. A torch, get rid of that one. What about the other side? I guess it only makes sense for there to be something here as well. Alright, there we go. A slight pattern there. So it's not just a flat wall. So there's a terrace here now. Okay, so we've built that. Built the amphitheater, cleared out a lawn. Now we want some interesting geometric planting here, which I don't really know how I'm going to do this. I think we want this to be as unnatural as possible, because it's going to be... Let me um, bring this out, give ourselves a little more space. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? Maybe like a square of trees? We're going to do custom trees because this is going to be as unnatural as possible. And what kind of trees do we want? Birch wood? And then birch leaves. So what if we say... put a tree... there? And like... have a geometry of trees and then we're gonna cut this back. then we just have like a grid of trees because we can get rid of this one <laughs> a grid of trees oh it's not even in the right place and they're all the same size And then even their leaves are all the same. So we have leaves. So you can have custom leaves if you want to do that. Let me just add a little bit up here. So they're all gonna be like that. <laughs> I mean the idea is somebody prune these trees into these shapes because we dislike the chaos of nature and therefore even the trees have to be geometric. Right? So this is the uh, the philosophy of the formal garden. And look look how look how orderly the trees are, even the trees follow the rules of this geometric garden. This might take a while. I mean, formal gardens are very high maintenance too, because, you know, everything has to stay in line, and trees don't, you know, if you cut a tree into a square, it's not going to stay a square for you, it's, it's going to keep growing, so every now and then you have to trim the tree back into a square. So formal gardens are incredibly labor-intensive to maintain. You have to keep trimming everything to the right shape, otherwise it, it won't stay that way. And you know, you have to keep mowing the grass and, and everything else. Extremely labor-intensive. 
I guess that also makes it a, a show of wealth too. I mean, if, if you can afford to keep trees square, that means you can afford to hire a lot of gardeners, right? And that means you are wealthy, you have a lot of money to spend. And good for you if you do. So another demonstration of the King of France's power, right? You have Versailles, everything is square in Versailles. Alright, let's mow the lawn a little bit. So it doesn't look, a, look too scruffy in our formal garden. <laughs> it's geometric trees, awesome. Hmm, is that good? I feel like it blocks the view a little bit. Maybe that's fine. Maybe you want the view when you get to here. Um, what else to do around here though? Do we want more geometric trees on the other side? I kind of do. Let's get rid of this tree. And replace it with something a little more square. Yes, one, two, three, four. Back a little bit, back, cut this back a little bit more. Mow the lawn slightly. Get rid of this scruffiness. And then I might even want to continue. The trees a little bit. This way. I want to keep that open though, that side there. Because we have kind of a nice view out here, but what, what to do though? I want to keep this open. But I don't want it to be just, you know, grass. Or maybe I do want it to be just grass. Alright, let's plant more trees here. More geometric trees. Now we have trees flanking both sides as you walk towards this thing. And the trees do hide the ocean view a little bit. It's not the best formal garden in the world, it's not quite as strong. Because there's only a little bit of it on the corner, right? Whereas if you go to Versailles, like the whole thing is just geometry everywhere and it's more impressive that way. But I don't want the geometry to be that overpowering. Uh, what am I doing? So here's a here's a lawn, and you can kind of see things in the distance. And then there's like geometric trees back here. I think I want a, another one. There to block off the view over on this side. Alright, so we want to block off the ocean here, so you can kind of see it, but not really. 
And then you get over to here. And then I guess we need more geometric trees in that direction. At least one row. And do I just keep that open? I think I do. Maybe we can put some flowers there or something. Geometric flowers. Uh, how do I do this? How do I do this? I want to have at least one... Oh, I need more of this, that's for sure. Dirt in. And the trees go like that, right? Maybe you want to get rid of this tree. Not sure. Let's get rid of this tree. Get rid of that. Two, three, four. There's some geometric trees on this side, so it's symmetrical because symmetry is so important in formal gardens. And then there, leaves. We have to make sure the leaves are in the right place because it's a formal garden. Alright, there we go. We got some geometric trees. And then, I guess, what we can do is, is like, um, chiseled stone brick, maybe torches. And then, what kind of flowers do we want? Let's go with the red and uh, flower pots. There's something new. I'm not sure about the torches, but let me just put in. Maybe this should line up with the uh, with the columns. Do that there and. <laughs> Put some flowers in geometric patterns just because. Do I want lights down here or is the flowers okay? No, I don't want torches there. Alright, just gonna have pot plants like that. And I'm wondering if I should even have another layer of them out here. Oops. And I'm even wondering if they necessarily have to line up with the trees. Maybe they don't. Maybe I won't. Well, now they don't line up with anything, to be honest. What if we have more flowers? Geometric flowers. More of them. Actually, I like this. I like how this is going. Alright, let's just have more geometric flowers. Provides a nice boundary to the uh, to 
this area too, which is good. I guess we should also put that there. Yeah, yeah, I like this actually because it, now it's kind of because if you look at that, it's like why is it so open? There's like nothing there, but you put that there, and it's like all right now now the uh, the square is enclosed by these flowers and the border here. It no longer feels like it's completely open. All right, still there. More flowers. More flowers. More flowers. Um, oops. What did I do wrong? Oh, that's there. Two, three, one, two, three, and then pots. So it doesn't, you know, doesn't get in the way of the view much. In fact, not at all. Surprisingly, I mean, you, you put all the stuff in the in the way, and the view is is kind of mostly the same. I guess it blocks the water a little bit. But now there's something in front, and it's not just open. Uh, do I need to mow the lawn here? No, no I don't. It's fine. Alright, good. Uh, one, two, two, three, one, two, three, three, and three. No idea what this pig thinks it's doing. Right, flowers. And then the question is do we want to put more flowers down there, down here? Or is that is that too much? Do I just leave this? Why don't we just leave this? Alright, let's just leave that. So we have some geometric trees and geometric flowers. Maybe I do want more of it. Maybe I do want more of it, hold on. What if I just go nuts with this? and just have a whole lot of geometric flowers. It's starting to feel a little bit crazy, but maybe that's how... maybe that's the right way to think about it. You know, if you start a geometric pattern, maybe you should just follow through and finish the geometric pattern, you know what I mean? Alright, well this is uh, a little bit insane. But maybe that's correct. Huh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna continue this. Uh, we're going to push that back. And then we are going to more flowers. More flowers. Even more flowers. Even here, more flowers. And the more flowers. Alright. If you start something, you might as well finish it. Pig, what are you what are you even doing? I mean to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the French formal garden. It just seems too many straight lines. Too high maintenance. 
But uh, we're gonna see what it means though. I mean, we're gonna we're still gonna design it. We're still gonna build one, kind of. We're still gonna see what it means to have geometric plants, but. In all honesty, I'm not a big fan of this sort of thing. Alright, well, let's leave it there. I think that that's enough geometry for one day. Let's go back to daytime and... Continue around this path. So then there's all of this stuff. Hmm. Let's go... To our, I think we need some trees here. I think that's what we need. Let me just go back to this stuff. I think we need trees and grass because we constructed this hill out of nothing, right? So there's kind of like there's too much empty space here. I might put a tree like there and there, but not above on the hill because I wanted to keep this relatively clear. Let's see how this looks. Oops. <laughs> it doesn't want to... Okay, there's a tree there. It doesn't really want to do this one, does it? We even need to remove that. And maybe that. Okay, there you go. Ah, those are big trees. Those are big trees. Maybe that's not what I wanted after all. We come up here, and that's just the tree now. No, I, no, no, I don't want to do this. I didn't want to do this, my bad. <laughs> Let me change my mind. Let me change my mind. I don't want to do this. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Um, what I might want is trees down here, though. But a short one, but not, not a tall one. Get rid of the leaves. Uh, can I get a short tree? Um, I mean, that's not, it's not short, but okay. And... Maybe a tree here? Come on, there you go. Maybe a tree there? And probably just a lot of grass. Probably just a whole lot of grass around here, because all of this... oh, this is the French... okay, let's just mow the lawn a little bit. My bad. Oh, that's okay. This, actually, this shouldn't be... never mind, not a big deal. And then, let's put the grass here, and here, and there. So this is like a, a slightly more wild area, with long grass. And also, this little hill here is also long grass territory like that and that and that and I guess probably have some long grass over here maybe some... no that's fine, that's fine and then probably long grass back here and we're just gonna ignore a lot of this back here I know this is also part of the island, but it's like a part of the island that I'm not designing. Maybe I can put another tree there. Oops. Oh! That's how you do big trees, you you click on an existing tree twice. Haha! <laughs> Alright, now there's a big tree there, maybe I don't want that quite so big. I don't really want it quite so big. Ah, uh, never mind. Never mind, not a big deal. I might want a tree here. Because I want to avoid everything back there. Alright, well, that's, that's an interesting tree. 
the grass there, the grass here. Now let's keep that clean. Put the grass there. Put the grass everywhere here. So all of this stuff back here is wilderness, it's not really part of the park. I mean it is, but it's not anything that I've designed. Is this really just going to be a, just a terrace? It's a bit odd though, if it's just a terrace. Maybe I can have like a stone pavilion in here somehow. Or maybe brick. Let's go for some brick. Maybe just some brick columns is enough. Maybe if I... Let's see, one, two, three, four... One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four... Maybe just some brick columns and then just a little bit of seating. Like that. Maybe a little bit of roof. Um, something not too tall. Oops. And let's go for planks and I mean oak blocks and then and then planks Some, I don't want anything too big, just something fairly short, fairly practical. It's just kind of like, I mean, just like that. It's really hardly anything here. Is that good? Is that bad? Is that strange? It's too short. It's a little too short. Maybe. It's slightly steeper. And then a little bit more there, maybe just a little bit more at the top. How's that? Alright, so this is a little pavilion down here. Uh, that's better. That's a little bit more to it than just a whole lot of nothing. Do I need a glowstone block? I think I do. Right in the middle. Right in the middle, a little bit of lighting. There. Great. So where was I? I was here planting grass. And I guess this should be a... Uh, we put more trees here, or do I leave this open? Let's leave that open and just put some grass down. Grass and grass and grass and grass and grass. And then I think that's pretty much it for the constructions. How do we feel about this? So it's a park. 
there's like there's a lawn, there's an amphitheater, there's a little formal garden path, there's a few pavilions and lakes and rivers and a few pavilions there. Nothing too special, but I think we did a little bit of experimentation. Now we need some lighting. Now we some need some serious lighting. Oh, I guess maybe I should just put torches down. Is that enough if I just put torches down? Alright, let's just put some torches down around the path. I mean, I kind of want... You know, more designed lighting than just torches. But at the same time, if I build too much more stuff... Then I, I kind of, I'm kind of worried that it might become overbuilt. Like there's too much kind of built stuff mm. here. If I like put in a lot more than just a few more torches. So I'm just going to put down torches mm. and not do anything too fancy. Right. Right. And this, remarkably, is already lit, but we need a torch like there. Let's just put a torch around the path. So there's a little bit of light, not too much. Not too sure what to do about the lawn, except maybe leave it alone. I think that's probably fine. Put a light there, put a light there. Alright, I'll put a light. <laughs> I mean, it seems pretty uh, non committal, but I think that's enough. Um, what else do. Oh, I wanted some trees behind the, the amphitheater, didn't I? Well, let me come back here and make sure we do that. I want a tree here, but it's very close to this bridge. Let's see how this works. This might be too close to the to the Oh, never mind. That is kind of okay except for that. <laughs> is that too much? Surprisingly no, surprisingly that's actually okay, I don't mind that. Alright, let's put a tree there, see how this works out. I mean, that that's fine too, amazing, this is actually working. Let's put a tree here. Yep, no problem. Let's put a tree here. Great stuff. Just so that it's not a giant wall of kind of the red stone by itself. Probably need a, another tree like here. The back of the amphitheater is not the most interesting thing to look at, so we're just going to block it basically with trees. So you don't see too much of it. And I think I also want trees over here. Alright, and then no trees behind the the stage. Uh, should probably get rid of some of these leaves. There we go. What else was I thinking? Oh, something here. Let's put... Let's put torches around this lake because it probably needs some lighting around the lake. The lake is a feature, so let's give it a little bit of light, like that. And then I wanted to put something here, didn't I? What did I want to put here? Like a, a stone, like a decorative stone, <laughs> if that makes sense. Except there's no decorative stone in Minecraft, like it's just kind of stone blocks. You can't get the kind of beautiful stone that you can get with, uh, in like in the Japanese garden. Maybe like a special kind of stone, like a really ridiculous... I'm thinking like bedrock. 
like a lump of bedrock. Uh, nether rock looks like that. Hold on. Let me just. Nether rock looks like that. No, it's ugly. A lump of bedrock. Yes. Alright, this is gonna be very interesting, I think. How do we. I think this whole thing needs to be a lump of bedrock because. It's going to be like a mountain dividing the river, I think. Let me just go back to daytime. And then put bedrock here, of all things. Maybe it can be dirt back there. Let me change this to to bedrock. So it's not completely bedrock, but there's like a lump of bedrock. Here, yeah, if you don't, if you don't, if you're not familiar with um, Minecraft, bedrock is found at the very bottom of the map. Usually, you can't dig through it, but we're in creative mode, so we can. It's basically the stuff at the bottom that stops you from getting past the bottom of the world. I'm using it here because of its very unique texture. And I'm gonna sculpt it like it's like a a protrusion of bedrock out of the ground jutting into the sky majestically or something how tall should I make it? like there's a, there's a block of bedrock jutting out of the ground <laughs> so why, why is that even there? alright well there you go should I put something on this side? Um, it looks great from here. Let me just come over here to the pavilion. <laughs> it's a, it's a, like a bedrock jutting into the sky. I like that. I like the idea of it. It's a bit odd though. I wonder if I need more of it here. Maybe just a little bit of bedrock there as well, because it, it's kind of too green there. I think it needs a bit of balance. Let me just put a little bit of bedrock here as well. <laughs> this is, why is there bedrock in your park? Well, because it looks old and weathered and majestic, doesn't it? Look at those pixels. Look at that. Look at that black and white kind of stripes on that on that rock. Doesn't it look old and weathered and majestic? I think it does. Ah, uh, is that all we want to do there? I think so. I think so. Hmm. Then a torch there. And then actually, actually, I think what I want to do is cut that back, cut that bedrock, cut that back, and then torch. No, let's. Where's my stone? What is this stone? Oops, stone. Torch, torch. What a nice flower. Dandelion. If you're not familiar with, you know, stuff like Chinese mythology, maybe this is a bit weird. Or like this is kind of like a shrine. Making it kind of like a shrine to the bedrock. It's the sort of thing you might find in Japan with Shintoism, like you kind of just get shrines to various things. There might be a tree and there'll be a shrine to the tree. 
or like a shrine to a mountain or like a shrine to a rock because, or, or an ancestor or a grave because, you know, in, in kind of Asian religions, I guess in other religions, religions too, like in pantheistic religions, you would kind of believe there's gods everywhere. And so if you see an unusual thing in nature, you might believe that, oh, there must be a god living there. Probably doesn't make sense to um, people who are used to the Western tradition. But, you know, if you're interested, look up things like Shintoism. So we're pretending that there's a god in the bedrock. <laughs> All right. Are we done? I think so. I mean, it's another one of these cases where if you want to keep designing, you can spend hours and hours and hours and hours just tweaking little bits of the park. And and that would, you know, you can kind of keep yourself entertained forever doing that. But I think, for me, this is enough for now, at least. I think we've built quite a bit here. Like, we have, we have kind of amphitheater, we have like a formal garden, we have a couple of pavilions, we designed the paths and an interesting staircase, and we put in the whole lake and, and waterfall and, and lake and everything. So we did quite a bit of work here, and I'm going to stop here, just because of, not, not so much that I don't think we can do more, but more like, I think we've spent enough time here already. And uh, alright, in the next video, we are going to go on with the next lecture, which is going to be public spaces. So, I mean, a park is kind of like a public space. A park is, you know, a space you kind of have built for other people. But the next uh, lecture will be on public spaces, which is urban public spaces, so spaces within the city. And then after that, the exercise will be to make a town square here. So I'll see you guys in the next video.